How inconvenient. He gave up. He was like, hey, bro, Tehran, I feel you on this, but I'm not with you this rep. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Oh, you too! There is some greatness in here today. And you're looking at it. Anyways, we got some legs, man. We're gonna build a, we're gonna build some hamstrings and glutes today. Big booty. Big booty, big leg workout today, man. Uh, I will be going for um, a high squat today. So hopefully I'm feeling good. I don't have my knee wraps, so my knee sleeves, so gotta be careful. But we are gonna start with some hamstring, uh, hamstring curls to get warmed up. I always like doing hamstring curls before squats. Not all the time, but sometimes I do it. Uh, about 15, 10, eight, just to get warmed up, just to get some blood going in that backside before I hit the bottom before I hit up my squats. So, that being said, let's go. You know what I mean? You might stink. When you're doing hamstring curls, a lot of people come here, they just lay down, and they're like this, and then they start, right? So one thing you see that my, my back is curved a lot. That's one thing we don't want because that takes out the, the feeling in the glutes and proper feeling in your hamstrings. What you want to do is you want to go from this to this, right? Boom. Back straight. And you'll feel it a lot more. And you'll feel it properly. You're developing your hamstrings correctly. Having a few things like having an arch back, especially females, it's like cute and all doing exercises. Like, no, that's not how you properly do it. If you really want to work the muscle, then you will tighten that. What I always say is, tuck your pelvis in right here so this is normal this is normal for me right it's like my normal walk you need to bring it in like this when you do that your abs will be tight and that's when you know you're doing it correctly when your abs start to tighten in and then you do the movement and then and then you do the movement once you have that position broom every time you come up when you're doing a squat you don't want to be all arched like this come up all arched no you want to squat down Every time, make sure you tuck that pelvis in, lose those glutes. Got one more set here. You don't want the toes like this, you want the toes like this. Perfect now. Once again, waiting on a bar and a rack. There's a rack behind me, but I need the Olympic bar. I'm thinking that it's a time where nobody's really gonna come. I'm like, damn, damn! It's been about six days since I got a bar. Yep. Over here waiting. Got, got a bar. Get a rack out. All right, so this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do my normal squat, right? Go up to around 95, 90, 95% possibly. So maybe like 6:30 if I'm feeling good, because I don't have my wraps, my knee, my knee sleeves. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go to a wide stance. I'm gonna try to rep out some weight to further work my hamstrings and my glutes. Because my squat is more, more so the posterior chain, meaning like I use more of my hips and quads, but more of my front side, hips, more explosiveness, really not much of a glute activation, how I squat. But to counteract that, that's why we do the more volume, wider stance stuff at the end of it. So get the heavy weight up, Build later. Heavyweight first, build later. So, that's the goal right now. Come 
the gym, get to the fucking point. Stop sitting around, knowing you gotta max out, knowing you gotta hit heavy weights. Fucking bullshit, you talking so much. But get to the point. The longer you wait, the more you're gonna mess up your tempo and adrenaline to really get after it. A lot of people come in and miss that. Like, come in here, get your heavy weight shit done, yo. Stop giving your time body to, to cool down. Anyways, by the way, a lot of people have been thinking that my bench program is strictly chest workout. No, it is a full out, almost pretty much a power building program with more emphasis on chest. So we're increasing chest, um, we're increasing your bench press, your deadlift, and your squat. All three, there's focus on all three and more focus on the bench. So don't think that it's all bench exercise. It's a full, full blown out push pull, um, um, splits all throughout the week. How inconvenient. He gave up, he was like, hey bro, Teron, I feel you on this, but I'm not with you this rep. <laughs> the day or 605 I could go one more time but I, I gotta have tempo I'm, 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 I'm complaining a lot right now I know I'm complaining a lot right now okay so instead of going into squat squad we're gonna go to sumo deadlifts we're about set to eight I got four or five on the bar right now we got three or four sets eight reps just to save my knees I hate I hate squatting without my knee wraps I've become, I used to squat, like never used to squat with knee wraps, uh, knee sleeves. Nah, like, I wish I didn't have to rely on them now. It's like a mental thing, I guess. It feels so much better to have compression around the arm. Especially for the ground, you know. So annoying, wears me out, stresses me out. Set the dance, good mornings. Stretch out those hamstrings. Squeeze the glutes as well. Right here on the hack squat machine. Tiring myself out, trying to do shit for the ground. That's what's so stressful about. Got folks on YouTube. Got focus on Instagram. You know, it's like you can't do the same stuff you do on YouTube for the gram, so you gotta do something especially for the gram, you know? 
It's so annoying. It wears me out. It stresses me out. I think the next video should just be a collage of all the dumb shit I did on the ground. All the crazy stuff. I set the 10. Finish off goblin squats. Try to finish off strong. To be done. There was more I was going to do, but not today. And uh, I need to train legs harder. You know, usually I come in, I, I get stronger in legs, but I'm starting to lose. I'm, I lost a lot of size and definition in my legs that I want to get back. The reason why I don't train like that anymore, the bodybuilding style, is just because it was so, it was so tense in my muscles. And it was really a disadvantage for me when it comes to athletic training. And I was just getting so tight. And you know, the, you know, of course, the bigger your muscles get, the more you have to do like flexibility work, mobility work, which I do, but I don't think I was doing enough for the rate of you know my muscle growth and stuff and, and changing. So I want to get back in that mindset to when I was younger and I was really about just like getting big. I'm not about that anymore. I'm not about getting big anymore like that, you know. But I know how to, but I just don't push it to those extremes anymore. So let's get these reps in. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. My name is Jeff. Yeah.